Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel. So for that, I'm always extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Sagittarius love prediction reading, November 22nd through November 28th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know the energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space as well. Keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, most honored, and I'm always very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you do. Please keep in mind, too, the first part of the reading is the first five cards that I laid down just gives you the general overview of the reading. The second part of the reading is where the spirit guides let you know exactly what they want you to know because I clarify the cards for you. So if this is your read, please take a moment, sit back, relax, and look at the entire read. Let's see what's going on my fiery, impulsive, loving Sagittarius. Show me what's going on my fiery, impulsive Sagittarius, spirit guys, spirit guys, can you please show me what's going on, my Sagges? Let's see, Sag, what do you have going on? The Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune, Two of Wands, Queen of Swords, Ooh, and the Chariot. Well, whoever I'm reading for, this is all about marriage. The Hierophant is leading your read. This is all about a traditional marriage, a traditional get-together. This is all about all about that. And the, the thing is, is that the Hierophant is next to the Wheel of Fortune, which means that if you've not asked for someone's hand in marriage or someone has not asked for your hand in marriage, it will be a yes when they do ask. Either way it goes, it's going to be a yes. This is some a, 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 um, a marriage proposal. This is a marriage proposal. Everything is moving in your favor, too, when it comes to this proposal. It could also be a Taurus person here. But also, you have the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is in the middle of your reading, which means that <laughs> Two of Wands means you're almost there. You're looking in the future. You see how she's looking out the window. And you're almost there. In other words, you almost have what you want. You almost have what you want. Your mind's almost there. Your heart's almost there. You almost have what you want to make your life how you want it. Then you have that Queen of Swords energy, though, that's there. And, you know, Queen of Swords, that's my energy of no nonsense. And it definitely can be a card for you because it's a very blunt energy. And you know you know how you are. Don't give me a thumbs down, Sag. But you're very blunt. You don't question things. You speak what you speak. You're not, you know, so it's a black and white card. It's a very black and white card. Um, and when I say it's a black and white card, it, it is what it is. Whatever you have to say, you say it. There's no gray matter in between, at least not with you. Sometimes it's called a person as being an itch, and you know what I mean. Can't say things on YouTube, but you understand. Sometimes that queen of swords, that's what that energy is. But you know what? In order to get what you want, you got to get out of that energy. You got to watch what you say. You got to be not be so impulsive. You've got to watch what you say because if you want this marriage, you can't do this, have this queen of swords energy all the time. You have to learn how to talk to people. And that's important. Now here, I'm not saying this is a bad thing. I'm just kind of telling you what the reading is saying. Because you do have the chariot, which means you are determined. You are determined. I don't know whatever this is, but you are determined. You know, the ch they say the chariot means as above, so below. So whatever you're asking and manifesting, you, should, you will get it. This whole reading is about you having a marriage. You're going to get it, but you've got to do some working on yourself because this Queen of Swords energy is not helping you. But the Chariot is also, could be also a Cancer person as well. The Chariot could also be a Cancer person as well. So if this is your read, sit back, relax. Let's see what's going on. Um, I know this is a marriage. Um, so let's see. Let's see. Um, let's see. Why is this Hierophant card here, Spirit Guys? Why is the Hierophant card here? Show me, Spirit Guys. Why is the Hierophant card here for my Sagittarius? Show me why the Hierophant card is here for my Sagittarius. Huh. I have the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man. Which means that you are definitely in that energy. You are going to ask or someone is going to ask for your hand in marriage. But 
And I do believe it's going to be a, a yes. Either way it goes, whether it's the man asking the one, woman asking the man, it's going to be a yes. So let's see why the Wheel of Fortune is here. Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for my Sagittarius? Show me. The hangman means you're pausing. You're just taking a time out. And then not, not a time out. You're actually just pausing in that energy, that hierophant energy, which means for me, it's traditional. It's traditional energy. Uh, but to for it's also marriage. It's also marriage. So let's see. Why is the wheel of fortune here? Show me, spirit guides. You have the strength card. The strength card is. You want them to be on the same page as you. And if that's over that wheel of fortune, they are. Because it, it's going to be a yes. The strength card can also be a Leo person as well. But also, it could be any person. But these are just the, the zodiac signs that are on the board. But the strength card means um, you want them to be on the same page. In other words, you want to make sure that they say yes. It's a yes. Because the will of fortune is here. And that means things are moving in your favor. It's a yes. So let's see. Why is the two of wands here? Show me, spirit guys. Why is the Two of Wands here for my Sagittarius? Show me, Spirit, guys. Why is the Two of Wands here for Sagittarius? Eight of Wands. Yeah, see, this is all about asking. And I tell you, this is spirited conversation, too. This is excitement. This is, like I said, just over this Two of Wands, which you see in the future, and you're just about there. And and But you got a little work to do, like I said, with this Queen of Swords. And that's what this is saying here. But with this two of wands, with this eight of wands, this is all about asking for someone's hand in marriage, having them on the same page as you, and hoping that they tell you yes. And I do strongly believe, matter of fact, the will of fortune is moving in your favor. It's going to be a yes. But it's all about conversation. It's about talking. It's all about conversation, how you're going to propose to them, what you're going to do. But there's a couple things, or there's one thing that's really slowing you down a little bit. Not to say that you're not going to get a yes. But there's something that's slowing you down and it has something to do with your energy, how you speak to people, what you say to people. That Queen of Swords, that, that's how, that's, she can, ugh, Queen of Swords can be one of those energies that just totally just annihilates everything. She's impulsive. She speaks too much sometimes. She doesn't care about the other person. She walks on them and you can't get anywhere like that. You can't get what you want like that. So let's see, why is this Queen of Swords here for my sad? Just show me spirit guides. What did I tell you? Thank you, Spirit, guys. You have the death card over that Queen of Swords. And what does that death card mean? It means you have to transition. You have to transform. You cannot get what you want standing that Queen of Swords energy all the time. You need to watch what you say. You need to make sure you know how to speak to people. You need to think before you speak. And you need to not be so impulsive. And it's true validation with that death card coming. It could be a Scorpio person as well. But with that death card coming out, Death means a transition, transformation. You've got to make a transformation to get what you want. The universe is not going to deliver to you unless you make the transformation. You may get a yes, but it's going to be a long time before you get be able to take action on that yes. So let's see. And you want to make sure that when you ask or if someone asks you that you're ready. Let's see why the chariot card is here. Show me, spirit guides. Why is the chariot card here? Huh. Thank you, Spirit, guys. I have two of the same. Chariot here and Chariot at, at the bottom. Chariot is a card of just like I said, as above, so below. This is something that's going to happen. I'm not quite sure when it's going to happen. But the Chariot card means it's a go. You're moving. You're determined to get this marriage. You're determined to have this person. But you've got to do your own internal work as well. But you're determined. And the universe is saying, yes, you can have it if you do what you need to do. Look at the beginning. The Hierophant card, like I said, this is a marriage proposal. It will be a yes. The Hangman means you're staying in this energy. Now, you're not moving. You're not looking at anybody else. You're not trying to be freedom, have freedom like you normally do. You want to be married to someone. The Wheel of Fortune means things are moving in your favor. And Strength means, could be a Leo person, but the Strength card also means that you want them to be on the same page as you're on. You want them to... um. Say yes. That's all it's saying. You're just wondering if they will say yes if you ask for the hand in marriage. Um, or if you're a woman, you're wondering if they are going to ask for your hand in marriage. So you have the two of wands there, which means you're looking out in the future and you're almost there. But you have this eight of wands, which, like I said, this is just a conversation, spirited conversation, because you're asking for their hand in marriage. Um, 
or someone's asking for someone's hand in marriage. Queen of Swords is my itch card. Like I said, you got to get it together in order to get what you want. Death means you've got to transform. You can't be impulsive. You can't speak like you want to to anybody. You got to think before you speak. And that's the only way you're going to get what you want. The chariot twice, which means yes. It's all yes. Yes, you're going to get it. Yes, you're going to get what you want. But you've got to do your own inner work. So let's see what the angel oracles have to say. Oh my. Transformation. Whew, that's what they're saying. And that's what I just said. You've got to make a transformation to get what you want. The chariot, it is there for you. The universe is trying to deliver it, but you won't be able to get it. What you truly want in your heart until you make a transformation. You've got to inner heal. That's what I have for you for your love prediction reading, Sag.